What's going on, faithful followers? Check this out right in front of us. We have the new NECA Nickelodeon edition of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Wrath of Krang. So without further ado, let's dig right in. And make sure to go check out this new awesome podcast from Ashes Comic Dash, available on different platforms like Spotify. This podcast is featured for us comic geeks with interviews and topics across the board of all comics. Go check her out. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. box is pretty cool. Nostalgic even. You know, the cartoons of the Ninja Turtles right here. The Raffer Crane right there it says NECA and cartoonish typed um, lettering. Let's turn it around right quick. Nickelodeon, same thing, volume number two. And right here gives a brief description of what we're about to get ourselves into right here. All right, so let's go ahead and finish turning this around. And so we can get hit, go ahead and start viewing this. All right, so let me open this right quick. So in NECA, a lot of times they have where you can display, you can actually see what's in the box without taking it out the box. And always, ha they have these Velcro um, pieces right here. It's good and bad. I've had where they kind of tear, and so it's kind of hard to keep them intact. Sometimes they'll tear the actual cover of the cardboard right there, and it doesn't look good when it's ripped up. But overall, I mean, this is nice. This is really done well. You see all the pieces right there that we're about to get ourselves into, and, act and an actual um, uh, photo of Crane himself right there in the Pterodome, or Technodome, if I'm saying that right. All right, well, let's go ahead and put them together. All right, here we have them out the box already. You see all the pieces right here. The baby shredder, a crane, and then obviously what he's gonna be put in there. Go ahead and display them right quick, take this cover off. See what's actually in there so multiple hand scopes right there looks like some glasses right there also the weapons that you have here and the head cover on top of the head i guess right there so it looks pretty cool man yeah i'm excited to put this one together so let's go ahead and put them together here we have them out the shell and uh Let's take a better, closer look at Baby Shredder, which is pretty funny, actually. I mean, look at that. But it's cool. It's pretty cool. Take a closer look at the brains himself. I'm not sure if you're familiar that he actually um, appeared in the actual Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 2 movie, the live action one of the newer version. It had the potential to be something great. I don't know. I don't know. Leave it in the comments what you thought about those movies. Closer look at that. They're both the same, but you can get a closer look on that as well. That's pretty cool. I like anything that actually can move like that. And then you got these right here. Closer look. Those. The necklace piece right there. The axe. Prongs right here. I left them on the tape so I don't lose them. And then the hand scoops. Fist, open hand, same thing there. And then you see obviously the ones that he has already on. Let's get a closer look at him. So, like I said, it's got the cartoonish effect with the lines, 
or they're drawn as if it was on the pages and you can see right inside the inside where the control arms are for him for when you place him in there for the articulation you can see the bend of the knees right there where the balls are also here for the feet and then we pop up the arms I mean not the arms but the hands you can just switch them out boom pop just like that pop them out different hand in there. Let's, let's go ahead and put this one. Very cool. We'll go ahead and put more more features on him shortly. So it turns at the waist as well. Let's see how we get this in. I don't know. Got to pop them. I guess you pop this open. There we go. And it pops right there, boom, to the side, put the man in there, the brain, and it looks like it'll sit good too, because you see right there, it's got these grooves, so that it doesn't move around, there yeah, really good actually, really tight, look at that, it's not going to just fall out, so that's pretty dope, I like that, that's good thinking on their part. these little arms of his on the controls there we go I like that Boom. and then we'll just pop this back in because you see right here it's got the grooves where it actually gonna you know, hook in Just like that, really easy. It pops right back in. That's pretty cool right there. It's pretty cool. You can see the articulation, like I said, with the knees. I'm gonna get a better look at him. Articulation is pretty good at the legs right there. Like I said, the body twists all around where it needs to. Arm action, limited there only because of the actual um, shoulder uh, pads. You can move these all around. Um, you can bend these right here because you can see right there. They're fairly new, so it's going to be a little tight right now. There you go. You can bend them. And then here we have the weapons. Let's go ahead and put a weapon in his hand. Right there. You can put the weapon in his hand like that, or you can actually stick it into where the hand socket would be. And just like that. So, looks pretty cool. Let's take this one off as well. One of these in there. I mean, it's too cool not to put in there, right? Look at that. That is pretty cool right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, you can mix and match however you want. Put this on there as well. You have that effect right there as well. And like I say again, that moves. That's that's killer right there. That's awesome. Let's take that one off. Just for sake of purposes for displaying and showing you. Let's put one of these blasters in as well. If you want to do that, have that look put him on there. So put that on his head right there if you want to as well. It's kind of kooky for me, personally. But, oh well, to each his own, right? I'm really digging this baby serrated. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And then you got the necklace. Uh, it's been so, so long time since I've watched one of these animated cartoons. I read a comment, I'm not sure if it goes on him or is it going on on baby shredder or whatever the case may be i want to say it's him but hey you can correct me in the comments you know or whatever the case may be but it looks like something that would go on him i would just think if this was like a miss a magical something right that turns shredder into a baby i forget what happened in the actual show uh leave in the comments if you remember exactly what happened that turned shredder into a baby 
been a long time. Like I said, for me, it'd be like watching the cartoons all over again for the first time. So, but the cool thing is, look at that. It actually moves right here and everything, the head and everything, the articulation, look, even bends at the waist. How cool is that? So it's not like it's just stuck in one place where you can't do nothing with it. And look at that facial expression. Still the boss trying to tell people what to do, right? And then look, it's got the spikes on there. And then his feet, his little feet right there, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, well, there you have it. I mean, Krang, Baby Shredder right here. What do you think? Leave it in the comments, let me know what you thought. Overall, I like this. This is this is a really good Neko one. Um, I have to say, this is pretty cool. This is really cool right here. This is definitely worth the buy, I think. Um, and I think they'll probably be going through the shelves pretty fast. Um, like all the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles items that have been hitting Target lately in the NECA section. So make sure you get yours before you end up paying three or four times the price. All right. Well, there you go. There you have it. So there you have it, faithful followers, Krang and Baby Shredder. Let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification button so you can be notified of new content. And like always, stay faithful. And don't forget, guys, to go check out Ash's Comic Dash podcast on Spotify and other platforms.